and a great multitude from every nation and tribe and people and language cried with a loud voice saying Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb. Praying on this land, we acknowledge the Narunga people, traditional custodians upon whose ancestral lands we meet, and pay our respects to the elders past, present and emerging. We acknowledge the deep feelings of attachment and relationship of the Aboriginal people the country. Well, good morning and welcome to the Anglican Church on the York Peninsula of South Australia. Today we are celebrating, a little delayed, but All Saints Day. It's an opportunity for us to remember all the saints, not just the capital letter saints, and uh, share one with another in the mission that God has called us to. We will have a celebration of all souls this evening and that will give us the opportunity to um, also remember those who have passed whom we love. The service will follow the usual form. Parts in yellow are for you to join in with. The hymns are there for you to sing. And so sit back, relax and enjoy your time with God.
Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Jesus said, This is the great and first commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, confident in God's forgiveness. Merciful God, our Maker and our Judge, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us. Strengthen us to love and obey you in the newness of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to him in faith, pardon you and set you free from all your sins, strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life, 
Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. We praise you, Heavenly Father, that you have knit together your chosen ones in one communion and fellowship in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those inexpressible joys you have prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. A reading from Wisdom, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hands of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be a disaster, and their going from us to be their destruction. But they are at peace. For though in the sight of others they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace he tried them, and like a sacrificial burnt offering he accepted them. In the time of their visitation they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his holy ones, and he watches over his elect. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks to God.
The earth is the Lord's and everything in it The world and all men who live in her lands For he founded it upon the seas Established it on the waters On the waters Who may ascend to the hill of the Lord to be stand in his holy place. He who has clean hands and pure heart, who lifts not his soul or swears to an idol, he will receive blessings from God and vindication from God his Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek your face, O oh your hands, oh, you gates, be lifted up, you ancient doors, so that the King, the King of glory, may enter in, may enter in, and who is the King? And mighty, mighty in battle, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord King of glory. reading from the Revelation 2 John chapter 21 beginning at verse 1. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw a holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them and they will be his people and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I sing a song of the saints of God, patient and brave and true, who toiled and fought and lived and died for the So dear. 
so safe the whole of their good lives long. And one was a soldier, and one was a priest, and one was slain by a fierce wild beast. And there's not any reason, no, not the least, why I shouldn't be one too. They live not only in ages past, there are hundreds of thousands still. The world is bright with the joyous saints who love to do Jesus' will. You can meet them in school or in lanes or at sea, and in church or in trains or in shops or at sea, for the saints of God are just full. from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John chapter 11 and beginning at verse 32 Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ When Mary came where Jesus was and saw him she knelt at his feet and said to him Lord, if you had been here my brother would not have died When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who came with her also weeping. He was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, could not he who opened the eyes of a blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, again greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone was lying across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, already there is a stench, because he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Jesus looked upwards and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth, and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him, let him go free. For the Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and redeemer. Amen. Today, uh, as we remember all saints, we remind ourselves that heaven is populated by all the saints, not just the St. Andrews and St. David's and St. Peter's and St. Paul's, but there is a great multitude who will celebrate with the Lord, being with the Lord. And our, our reading, which we have um, from Revelation, points us to um, those differences, I guess, between what is in heaven and what is on earth. We use the word heaven and we, we, we talk about it almost as if it is a place, but rather it is a state of being. And um, in this new state of being, the um, promise that is coming is a promise of a place and, and, and I've uh, talked on this in all the nursing homes this week 
a place where there is no more death, no more mourning, no more crying, no more pain. All these genuine, genuinely human things will not be there and as we switch over to be part of, of um, the heaven which is this, this new state, this new place and there is this sense there of life eternal and it is not life forever but life eternal, life that does not stop and it's not like um, one century, two centuries, three centuries. But rather we walk into the place where there is God in the midst and we are with him without time. And we can remove from the constraints of time. And I don't know about you, but I always have so much to do. And this brings us into a place where there's no more deadlines, none of that sort of thing. And so there is something to look forward to. And I, I do love this reading and I used it recently in my cousin's funeral to remind those who'd gathered that it was a time and a place for to think about the future and what it is. Now I've told my wife uh, and it's on the list. Our first reading from wisdom is what I want at my funeral. And it's not for me, but it is for those who gather to, to try and help them to understand that we need to re-examine the way we look at the world. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God. In the eyes of the foolish, they seem to have died and their departure was thought to be a disaster. But they're going from us and they're going from us being a destruction, but they are in peace. And this sense of the righteous are removed from the world as we know it. And death is not the end, but rather that gateway where we can go to that place where we can celebrate and rejoice. And I just love this reading, re reading because it tells us about the distinction between human thinking and God thinking. You know, for inside of others they were punished. Their hope is full of immortality. Have you got that sense of the place that we are all going to go to is a place of immortality? And whatever it is that we've gone through here on earth, it is nothing compared to the bliss, that overwhelming joy of being in God's presence. I love that little ending there. Those who, who trust in him will understand the truth and the faithful will abide with him in love because grace and mercy are upon his holy ones and he watches over his elect. At all saints, it's worthwhile contemplating are we part of the elect? Are we assured of heaven. The Bible is pretty clear. It should assure us, but sometimes we may have doubts. If you have doubts, let me assure you that God has called us all home. Home to the place that is with him. Home to the place which is out without death, without mourning, without crying, without pain. I think about that every now and again and I just amaze that no matter what it is that we go through there will be in heaven this place and that helps me to live my life and even helps me to focus my life on doing the will of my father 
for I will be with him and I will have to answer the question. When I asked you, did you act on my will? His will is that we all be gathered in and we gather each other in through just spreading the word, telling people what it is that God has offered and let them also reach out and take this precious gift. Amen. Let us together affirm the faith of the Church. We, we believe, believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through his prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the world and for the church. A prayer for our diocese. God of hope and love, you have called us to be the body of Christ. Inspire us in the Diocese of Loughborough to worship with joy and energy, serve with compassion and be welcoming of others in our communities so that we all know the good news of Jesus to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory forever. Amen.
Almighty God, you have promised to hear our prayers. Grant that what we have asked in faith we may by your grace receive, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We are the body of Christ. His Spirit is with us. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Christian soldiers march 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have these gifts to share. Accept and use our offerings for your glory and for the service of your kingdom. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. All glory and honour be yours always and everywhere, mighty Creator, ever-living God. We give you thanks and praise for our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who by the power of your Spirit was born of Mary and lived as one of us. By his death on the cross and rising to new life, he offered the one true sacrifice for sin and obtained an eternal deliverance for his people. And now we give you thanks because you have called us into the fellowship of all your saints and set before us an example of their witness and the fruit of the Spirit in their life. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying... Hosanna in the highest. Merciful God, we thank you for these gifts of your creation, this bread and wine, and we pray that by your word and Holy Spirit, we who eat and drink them may be partakers of Christ's body and blood. On the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, and when he had given you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup and again giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Drink from this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore we do as our Saviour has commanded, proclaiming his offering of himself made one, once for all upon the cross, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, 
and looking for his coming again, we celebrate with this bread and this cup his one perfect and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. by your Holy Spirit, unite us in the body of your Son and bring us with all your people into the joy of your eternal kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom and in whom, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father, in songs of never-ending praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power are yours for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are confident to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. We who are many are one body, for we all share in the one bread. take this holy sacrament of the body and blood of Christ in remembrance that he died for us and feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Surely God, our lives in His grace. 
God give you grace to follow all the saints in faith and hope and love. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. O land of rest for thee, I sigh, when will the moment come? When I shall lay my armor by and dwell in peace at home. We'll work, we'll work till Jesus comes. We'll work, we'll work till Jesus comes. We'll work, we'll work till Jesus comes and we'll be gathered home. No tranquil joys on earth I know, no peaceful sheltering dome. This world's a wilderness of woe, this world is not my home. We'll work, we'll work till Jesus comes, we'll work, we'll work till Jesus comes, we'll We'll work till Jesus comes and we'll be gathered home. I sought at once my Savior's side, no more my steps shall roam. With Him I'll brave death's chilling tide and reach my heavenly home. We'll work, we'll work till Jesus comes, we'll work, we'll work till Jesus comes, we'll work, we'll work till Jesus comes and we'll be gathered home. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Yeah.